Hello, Elm Beethoven Trumpets. So this is going to be our first video lesson. Um, if you guys haven't warmed up yet, go ahead and click on the warm-up video that I made. Um, should be in the playlist. Um, and once that's all done, let's uh, get on with this lesson. So today we're going to be working on slingshot. And um, I know you guys have two different parts. Some of you guys might have trumpet one, some might have trumpet two. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to break the music up into two parts. The first part's going to be from measure 1 to measure 27. That's the end of the first part. And then you have an 8-bar rest. So we're going to skip that. And then we're going to go from measure 35 to the end. Um, so we're going to do them in two different chunks there. Um, and the way we're going to do this is I'm going to start by playing the trumpet 1 part um, for just the first section. And then you're going to play whatever part you have. So if you have trumpet 2, we're going to play in harmony. If you have trumpet 1, we're going to play in unison. Uh, and again, unison means we're together, and harmony means we're uh, playing different stuff um, that fits together. So, um, that was a little confusing. Um, we'll just go through it. I'm sure it'll make sense to you. You can always come back and redo this part of the video. Um, so first, we're going to work on the first section. I'm just going to talk through a couple things to look out for when you're going through this section. Um, stylistic things. So, um, let's just start at measure one. So we're looking through there. And then we have a crescendo. So then on measure two, there's a crescendo. And I want to make sure the main part of that crescendo comes at the very end where those four eighth notes are, right? So you don't want to get too loud too fast, otherwise you have no way to crescendo. So I'll just play those first two measures really quickly for you. So most of the crescendo happens at the end of those uh, two bars there. And then going on at the starting on beat three of measure four, you have two low C sharps. Make sure those are C sharps and you're not playing C's. Um, so you have two low C sharps and then an F sharp. Uh, both parts have that. Make sure those first two quarter notes are very long and the last one is short. So I don't want to play that. When I, what I played there, the first two notes were way too short. So you want those to be long and it's going to sound like this. Something like that. Um, and then going through at 11, we have some more melodic lines. And the big thing to focus there is when you're tonguing and when you're slurring. So just focus on that. You know, it's ta, 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 right? Those ones are slurred. So make sure you don't tongue those, but then you do tongue the other ones. Um, and we want a sort of uh, legato tongue, not super aggressive. It is kind of a more melodic phrase. Um, and then finally, when we get to around measure 21, we have these little two bar phrases and we want a little swell in there, right? So, uh, I'm playing the first part here. Um, so I start a little softer, I grow to the quarter note and then I come back down after the, I come back to this third note there. And that would be a nice little swell that will fit in with the rest of the uh, what the group is doing. All right, so without further ado, um, I'm going to start by playing the first part. We're just going to go from measure 1 to measure 27. Uh, I'm going to set a metronome here. This is at 96 beats per minute. All right, so then play whatever part you have. We're going to go from measure 1 to measure 27. 1, 2, 3...
right, very good. And now I'm going to switch parts and we'll do it one more time. So if you were just playing in unison with me, we're now gonna be playing in harmony. If you were playing in harmony with me just there, we're now gonna be playing in unison. So I'm gonna play the trumpet two part now and we'll do this once more. One, two, three. I would recommend you go back and um, listen to what I told, uh, talked about on what to focus on beforehand. Just rewatch that a little bit and um, replay this a couple times and just make sure you're focusing on those little things that make it a little more musical. All right, now we're gonna look at the next section. It's from 35 to the end. A lot of the stuff is very similar to what we've already done. So, you know, you have your crescendo and the first two bars there, which is on the second part. So make sure that that crescendo happens again more towards the end. You don't want to crescendo at the beginning. If I crescendo at the beginning, then the whole thing's just loud and it's kind of obnoxious. You want to make sure that the crescendo is evenly paced and the biggest swell is kind of at the end. Uh, and then after that, we have a couple accented notes right before 39. So make sure those come out, something like, weight on those. Let's make sure those um, speak out a little bit more. Uh, and then we have the same kind of melodic phrase we had at 11. So you want to do the same thing there you did at 11, um, making sure you're tonguing the right notes and slurring when it tells you to. Um, and then that's pretty much it until we get to the very end and we have a similar rhythm that we had in the beginning. Um, and I would put a little bit of a crescendo on the end there, but that's overall supposed to be a little on the louder side, so. Would be the end there. And make sure the last note gets a good punch because it's the last note of the piece. All right, so let's do this one more time. I'm going to set the metronome to the same tempo, 96 beats per minute. And I'm gonna start on the first part at measure 35. And then when we finish that, I'll go on to the second part so you guys can have a chance to play in unison and then in harmony. All right, one, two, three. second part. One, two, three.
great job. And um, just make sure we're playing all the right notes there. For the second part, you have a, um, oops, let me get the screen. Um, on the second part there, you do have a G natural in measure 44, right? So make sure we get the G natural there, um, but then measure 46, it's a G sharp again. All right. Um, so go back and replay along with some of these videos. Um, go back to the beginning, listen to uh, what I was talking about, things to focus on, and then play through these with me and um, do focus on those things. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson.